Welcome back to Metropole TV's Business AM. All right. Now, microfinance space in the country has uh, not been performing well. Of the microfinance banks that published their results in 2018, only for Ulu and Sumac Microfinance reported growth in profit. Others were stuck in loss making zones as they fought with heavy operating costs against dwindling returns. Uwezo, Maisha, Caritas and Daraja continued their loss making trend in what our analysts have attributed to a difficulty in understanding or navigating the, stru the structural changes occasioned by digitization of the financial sector. Now, I sought to understand what factors have continued to contribute to this trend in this sector and sought an interview with the Sumac CEO. Now, Sumac was recently awarded in the just concluded Think Business Awards as a top performer in this volatile sector. I first sought to understand what the recent demonization of the 1,000 shillings note from the economy would have on the sector and dug deeper on issues that have contributed to the poor performance of the sector. Let's now for take a look at the conversation between me and the CEO, Sumak. That was done just as we were enjoying our break for the ill fiddle. Today we are joined by one of the performers at the
We've already had conversations about the proliferation of fintech in the Kenyan economy and it's seen as a major competitor to the banking sector in the country. Now, last, just I keep on saying last week, now on Tuesday, we did have uh, the managing director, Mobile Financial Solutions, talking about how the fintech goes hand in hand with the banking sector in this country. Now we're talking about micro lenders to the baseline um, SMEs in this country. Then you would know that it actually should solve one of their basic needs, easy access to capital without much complication. That's what most SMEs in Kenya need. Now, the conversation next you're going to see is about how fintech has eaten into the space that was originally held by the micro lenders in this country and how SUMAC has been able to therefore reinvent or innovate this space to hold on to this niche. That coming now.
I was uh, a conversation with John Nji here, CEO of Sumac Microfinance Bank, as we talk the microfinance sector, a sector in this country that is really underperforming. So you've exactly heard what the conversation was, and we shall be doing more of these segments on Metropole Business AM. If they fail to get into the studio, we follow them to their offices. All right, the Max Business AM today. Remember, we are online, Metropole TV, KE, hashtag is Business AM. Let's get the conversation going. What should you think should be done to the microfinance sector? And are mobile lenders the biggest competitors in this space? All right, from Nairobi Capital, Nairobi, from Nairobi Capital, City of Kenya, yes. All right, we say goodbye. I'll meet you at 1 p.m. as we talk about the Metropole News at 1. Some of these issues will make the back end. All right, see you then.